Welcome to Fight Week. Yeah. How does it feel just to be back in the swing of things and be here in Nashville? Man, hard to say how it feels. Just back here, not really deciding how it feels. Just wandering through it. When you were kind of gearing up for this one and going through the training camp, what was the camp like for you? And kind of how did you kind of get into this gear, like you said, to get here and be ready to compete on Saturday? Yeah, this camp was, was different. I have my own uh, space now and uh, just making big changes over the past few years. I feel like a different uh, fighter, different human. So this has been the best the process has been so far. Um, everything from like mentality to diet to training to, you know, all the technical work and everything that goes into it to the team that I have around me and everything. It's been uh, you know, fighting's crazy, but this is the best. Uh, this is the best uh, I think I could possibly have it to kind of optimize how I come in here, and uh, and I'm here. You mentioned your own space mm -hmm. a little bit. Kind of, what is? What do you mean by that exactly? Um, we we uh, have our own fight team, Tower One Gym in Dartmouth. So uh, it's just basically a room full of uh, fires and fighters and uh, aspiring fighters, and it's been a um, space just kind of like devoted to pro training, the recovery, which I neglected a lot. Um, and just kind of collecting good education and then uh, applying it. Obviously, being away for so long, kind of, did that light a competitive fire in you a little bit? Like, kind of change the the feeling when you're when you're gone from the game for so long? Yeah, I mean, if you ask anyone that knows me, I don't waste a day. I don't waste a drop of sweat. So these past two years have been honestly the biggest growth I've made. Like I said, I feel like a a whole different uh, human being, whole different fighter. So. God willing, that, that shows, you know, and um, that's what I'm looking for, just a chance to kind of compete and um, get that work out there and show people that. Awesome. What did you think about the card in Vancouver earlier this year? I was pretty sad I wasn't on it, you know. A little little things, uh, it's been a, a little bit of setbacks as far as, like, injuries, and obviously, you know, the last fight I took didn't go so well, the... Uh, the uh, short notice of everything and then injuries following but um the Vancouver car was amazing one of my best friends is Mike Malott we came up together got our pro belts together and like uh you know my first sparring I ever had was with Mikey and we were both uh, coming up through together so I was like in my heart happy to see uh him coming into his own and and having good success and seeing Canadian fighters um do well but uh mostly him you know because me and Mike are close and um I got a lot of love for him, so it's nice to see see someone that you know you kind of been through the same process with, uh, coming through and kind of getting what they what they deserve or what they earn, I should say. So. And when you see how well that he's doing mm -hmm. currently in the UFC, like mm -hmm. how motivated does that make you to get back and kind of get back on that same level that he's at right now? Um, I'm just happy for him. It doesn't like change how I feel or how what I do. I'm just I'm just like happy to see it. You know, sincerely, good person, good good athlete. So, for me, my motivation doesn't change. I I love this sport. You know, I'm always I'm always doing it, even when I'm not doing it. So, it's uh, not a matter of motivation, really. It's just a matter of feeling good for someone else, which which feels good. Any thoughts on your opponent, Diego? Like super tricky jujitsu guy. I mean, he almost got multiple subs in his UFC debut last time out. So, I mean, how do you how do you train for a guy like that? Um, I mean, I brought in a lot of um, high level jujitsu guys, and not to sound disrespectful, but guys who are competing in ADCC level competitors that are, uh, you know, solid all the way through. I'm a hands of Gracie black belt. I'm solid all the way through, and. Um, you know, people are like, we gotta watch for this. We're listen. We're we're gonna grapple. Him and I, we are gonna grapple. So, I'm not uh, I'm not shying away from trickiness. I'm not shying away from anything like that. I'm built like a stump, and uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna see what that looks like. So, the preparation has been the same way. I always prepare. I look at the positions, run the positions through camp, um, do what I always do as far as my process goes, and focus on my game. And that's how you. That's how you should prepare, I think, for anyone before maybe getting a little over-analytical of certain stuff and uh, fixated on stuff. And I like doing that, and I think there's a season for it. I think there's a season for everything. But right now I'm just ready to compete, ready to collect. Uh, a lot of people are saying that your fight with Diego Lopez is the banger of the card. Why do you think that is? Why do I think they're saying it? Um... His last performance, you know, uh, 
he came out and had a really good run against, uh, I think, Mozart's top ten right now. Yeah, so he had a good showing uh, on short notice, and uh, he's coming in the scrap, you know, and there's going to be potential for this one to get outside of, like, uh, athletic competition and just stop being a, a sport and an athletic competition and turn into an absolute mud fight. And, uh, you know, I know he's there for it. And it takes one to know one. So if it turns into that, that's what that's what people are probably excited for. And I know that too. I know that I know it's going to be uh, potential for uh, blood and guts. And um, you know, we'll 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 start with the scalpel, but um, the hounds are there if needed. And uh, to piggyback off that, you know, you mentioned that he took that fight on short notice yeah. with the full camp this time, you know, after your long layoff. Mm -hmm. Do you think with a dominant performance that, you know, that catapults you into that top ten, you know, puts you up there with Movzar? Yeah, I mean, I'd love a chance to fight to fight the Russian, the, the, the guy he just fought. I would love that opportunity. I love fighting wrestlers. And uh, it would be if I can um, – get an opportunity to fight. Listen, I'm I'm uh, getting up there now. Right? I'm an older cat now, so I uh, I want all the smoke from everybody. I I don't want to uh, waste any time. Any opportunity I can have to test myself against the best guys in the world, I'm going to take it as uh, as I always have. So That's it. Thanks guys.